sessions, keynotes, how the expo. So let's apply from technical side and talk to them about volunteering. I want to share with you my experience in that field and how they volunteer in my own life. But first, I want to know who has ever played or complained being having 24 hours per day is never enough. I mean, yeah, think about it. You need to have a job to work maybe to get your, your, your salary and to work even harder to secure your job for longer. But what if I told you that, what if I tell you that some of us, or many maybe, still have time to volunteer in many actions? And by volunteering, I mean this kind of unpaid activity which are also time consuming. So how can these people do it? So this is why I'm sharing with you today my experience with volunteering. If you look for the definition of volunteering, you may find kind of these definitions like doing something for free or suggesting to do something without even being asked. But in my point of view, volunteering is all about sharing. Volunteering is when you share your knowledge. As a professor in computer science, I have been through a long journey for my career. I, I graduated as an engineer, yes, then I got my PhD, and I worked the for 10 years from now. So sometimes I, I ask him to share this experience in my, in my computer science background with people. In this picture, I have been asked to explain to computer science students what is the importance of doing research in academia so they can find that path to choose whether to pursue in academia or maybe go into industry. But in this one, I took only the tweet. Uh, I want, it was even more challenging because I had non-IT attendees where I need to explain the importance of computer science to enhance medical research. So this kind of volunteering, I was asked to share my knowledge with larger audience. But volunteering sometimes means to share your experience. And by experience, it doesn't refer to your degree. So I took this photo the last day of my, my maternity leave. I was invited to the inter International Women Day event where they asked me to <coughs> share my experience as a tech woman follow um, during this, this event. So I have been to Tech Woman, which is a program offered by the US Embassy and the Department of State. Uh, I have been selected with 99 other women among 4,000 to, uh, to be hosted in high-tech companies in Silicon Valley for five weeks. And uh, even with the last day of my maternity leave, I took my baby with me and I shared this experience because it's really inspiring for all the females and girls in my community. So, even if you share your knowledge or your experience, sometimes volunteering is only about sharing some of your time or effort. So, I took two pictures. This one is for Manchester. So you see, it's the same stage, Microsoft in like 2018. <laughs> now I want to make another one for 2020, of course. But this one was last week. Last week I have participated in the IoT Internet of Fame conference in Spain. So my participation was uh, for reviewing papers to be presented in that conference. Also, I have moderated a, a session in the IoT security track. But the most important thing I still remember from this conference was that day. One day before the conference, we need to prepare respects for all the attendees, hundreds of attendees. And we needed volunteers to make to pick a bag, put a pan, an agenda, a mug, and a bottle of water. And that's it. Very easy. No need to agree, no need to manage. But since we had a lot of volunteers, we did it like in five minutes. We did it so quickly that we didn't even have time to take pictures, doing it for tweeting, we are preparing for the conference. Hopefully I say it to myself. So here in this picture you can find an intern, a PhD students, many professors. So in this case of volunteering, it doesn't matter if you have a degree or you have knowledge, it's only about taking some of your time and do it for the sake of a, a cause. In this case it was a conference. But mainly for me, 
volunteering is also when we share empathy with others. We have extremely, very um, inspiring clubs and uh, non-profit organizations in our university where I, where I teach now. And some of the activities they are doing is to go and visit orphans in foster cares or children with cancer in hospitals. And they need that some of, of us, some of the employees, of the teachers, to take part of these activities just to be there and share the empathy with the others, which will make them very happy. I still remember this day. It was during actually a development program. We had a volunteering day. And it was in, uh, we needed to, I took the booth here where we need just to take some stick of woods to color them and to make it sure how to hang, to hang them just for decoration. And I still remember how this kid was really happy when we did the, the activity together. And of course, I concluded that not all of us have the same privilege. And this kid came from an underserved community that even this kind of game, he didn't, he didn't have access to that. So sharing empathy is also important. Now that we share four things, knowledge, experience, time, and empathy, how can we scale in our volunteering level? How, can, how, how do we master our volunteering? For my experience, it started with answering to invites. So when people come to me because they need me according to one of the four, I say yes. In this event, for example, it was the social media camp event in Algeria, and they asked me to give a talk to uh, young attendees, so we will give, him, give them tips how to posit positively uh, use the social media. And uh, the talk was scheduled in a room with capacity of 25. We end up having more than 60 in that room. So many standing up, we were lack of oxygen, and then we did it anyway. And we've decided the, the next day to do the same thing in the theater room. So the 300 attendees will all take benefit. So for me, it was just sharing something I already know, but you never know the impact you can make for the audience or for the community. And then after answering invites, I started looking for events or joining other activities, because sometimes people know you and come to you to ask you that. But in many other times, they don't know about you. So the first time I heard about technovation, I joined them as a, uh, a judge and mentor. Technovation is a program where they help girls to get involved into codes, middle career, middle school and high school girls, and also help families to get basic knowledge in the artificial intelligence. And since the day I heard about this program, I was interested in uh, participating as a judge or a mentor using, of course, my experience, my knowledge, and also my time. And then, I start to be committed to some of these activities, make it like a habit for me. So, in this photo, you can find, I, I already uh, introduced the women program, so here we are, uh, the women and the girls program, which are, which are two exchange programs offered from the US Embassy and Department of State. So, the women is for professional women, the girls is for high school girls. And we have, um, uh, you can find here the ambassador wife, who is also an IT professional. She gave us a very inspiring talk. So, and we are committed to do many other events. Maybe now we need to enlarge from the alumni to a larger community. And finally, you can make your own initiative. After joining, after responding to invites, joining already existing events, you can make your own initiative. It can be only one hour action, but it can be a long project. In this um, photo picture, I made a commitment after my Tech Woman program to prepare, to, make, to offer an, an orientation session to all Tech Woman finalists. So these four ladies are the selected tech women for this year. They have just graduated. And we were at the US Embassy before their departure. But in this one, you can find me with two other tech women follow, Selma and Amel, and we have launched a project 
which called Hia Caravan. Hia means she in English. And we want with this project to make um, a workshop, a day, a 24 hour workshop for girls and females in underserved communities. We insist in underserved communities because it's, interesting, uh, it's important for us they they don't have the same opportunities as in big cities. And this one also, it will be followed by remote mentorship. It will, it will be a long program uh, moving from city to another. Algeria is very big. So now that I have shared all of this, maybe some of you are not still convinced, wondering what will I have as benefit behind it. First, when you volunteer, it's, it's always about passion. You volunteer in something you really like. Don't, uh, if, if I uh, have been asked to volunteer in arts or painting, of course I would say, no, I'm horrible at that. So please pick the actions or activities that you're passionate about. It's also some kind of self-satisfaction. -satisf you feel that you are someone positive, someone impactful, someone helpful for your community. But volunteering also really shaped my personal and professional I mean, career. Through volunteering actions, I could polish my project management skills, time management, conflict management. I have been through very uh, large kind of experiences that have also may empower my personal and professional development. And also volunteering can widen your opportunity, can give you more opportunities. I do love traveling, this is why I'm here now. So sometimes when you volunteer, it, you can travel, you can, you can combine your hobbies with, your, with the, the volunteering activities, but you can also, when you volunteer in a professional, um, activity, you can also get to know other professional contacts, so widen your network also. And maybe the last thing I will share, once you know that what is volunteering about experience, knowledge, time, effort, empathy, how do you scale in your volunteering, now what can you do besides volunteering? When you volunteer, you can also inspire others. This is why I'm here to share my experience. You can inspire parents to be role models for their children. You can inspire students in the, their educational career. Or also you can inspire youngsters because they are the best generation level who, are, uh, who have really good energy. They, they are here to show that they are capable of doing things and they are, they are starting to build their own profiles. And you can also reach industries because when you speak about volunteering, again, it's something unpaid and you need, of course, resources, you need sponsors. So you can reach out with industries that can help you doing these activities and actions. When you volunteer, make sure that you commit to this undertaking service. So keep volunteering. Make it like a ritual. It doesn't need to be daily or monthly. Make your own frequency of volunteering and commit to it. And also don't forget that volunteering is not only to get involved in already existing actions or projects, but also to make your own project. Today when you when you decide to go and plant a tree in your neighborhood, it's a volunteering action and you made it. So try to find what is missing in your community, in your neighborhood, in your family and make it happen. So maybe my last, um, my last slide would be the answer of the question I put in the title, how can volunteering pays more than your regular job? I picked the quote of Winston Churchill who said, you make a living by what you get, but you make life by what you give. So, what would you choose? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.